Okay, so my plan for the series was to have everything together. So all the projects with stickers, all the projects with washi, all the project, projects with glitter and so on. But I'm just going to put them in different order because there's some projects that I really want to show over some other ones. Um, and therefore I could add to each uh, item or what's it called? Material. Um, I could have videos later. So today we're going to move on to buttons. I love them. They're so fun. I mean, I don't know how much I could do with them, but I just, I just think they're fun and mm, if they're colorful, they're, that's even better. So I have a, I bought a few buttons from Amazon and from Walmart. Um, my mom had given me some, I believe she had, um, but I just don't know where they're at. I know they were all sorted and stuff, but I don't know where that. So we're going to work with this one. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I did. This video is going to be about cards. Now, um, the cards don't seem, are not finished. At least they need some writing, they need some stamping. Um, but I'll finish one with you guys. I just want to show you my attempts to create um, things with buttons, but also with twine. So, besides the buttons, which I'm going to put right here so you guys can see them, we're going to use twine. And I have different color twine. I have this green and white. I have the perfect brownish color. Let me move things around. Then I have red, white, and green, or red and green only. So I haven't opened these. Um, I think I got them from Target last year or year before. So I'm going to use them. And then, obviously, um, adhesive, scissors, glue. I will be using a pen. I recommend that you use maybe a Sharpie or a nice drawing pen, dark pen. But I, it is the one I have, so that's the one I use. And if you want to um, edge, like ink the edges, then you're going to need some kind of ink. So I have this bronze ink and I have this um, black ink. I'm just going to use them. I mean, I'm not going to use them. I'm just going to have them here in case I want to use them. But yeah, I'm going to leave them there. Okay. So... Let's show you what I have. This is what I made. I attempted a few. I mean, I made I, this one's so awesome. I made one of these for my mom, and I really like how it looked. Right here, I attempted to add like a border. Um, I didn't want to add too much stuff that you have to buy. You could use all you would need the twine and the buttons, but I had stickers, and I was I was trying to add to it. But if you have all the supplies, you can make it a bit more, I'm not going to say nice, but a bit more detailed kind of thing. But there's that one. Isn't that cute? Okay. Now right here, I try to make a tree. Now, it didn't turn out as great as I thought it would be. Um, I'm thinking that maybe I should have stopped right there and then added something different on the bottom. But, hey, it was a trial and error kind of thing, so... Eh, it worked. I'll finish it later. I'll figure out what I got. And then, you know what? I was like, I'm making shapes. Let's make a cookie, a cookie, a gingerbread man. And look, isn't that adorable? Um, right here, I use twine buttons. And then on top of these white buttons, I use um, those enamel dots. Because even though I have black buttons there, I couldn't find some that was that, that would really work with that. Or these stuff that I thought might work with that. Okay, so... Which one should I do? I'm going to do the reindeer because I think, I think that one's fun. And then I'm going to show you how we could do it to add more details. So, you're going to need a card base. And I already have some cut. Um, kind of cut. <laughs> uh, my trimmer, I haven't replaced the blade. I bought blades, I just haven't replaced them. Okay, so you have your base. Then, I am going to find... You know how... I like the matting and stuff like that. I'm going to have a different color background. And the card is four and a quarter by five and a half. Oops. So if I want to cut an inch off of each, I should have the card to be four, which is kind of what it is, to five and a quarter. And I'll cut it right there. Okay. Put that to the side. And then we're going to put it right there. Now, I I want to I want to see how this would look on top of that, but 
I don't I don't know it looks kind of weird on top of it um, especially the face so unless I put like a a circle looking thing for that for that I cut out I don't know mm. you know what I'm gonna try something out right now so you're gonna grab a piece of paper white paper and this one is a quarter no half an inch smaller and you know what I'm gonna use this one because this is Okay, see this is a quarter of an inch smaller, which can I want that? So I'm gonna use this width. Okay, so let's put that to the side. You're gonna grab a piece of twine, and if you want to do this first and then cut, um, you can, or if you just wanna cut the twine, do it. I mean, it's up to you. You will have leftovers, like scraps, so if you don't wanna waste, you might wanna measure it. So I'm thinking this is how long it's gonna be, Plus, this is how much um, I might end up using for the head and maybe like a little bit just for extra for the knot. So I'm going to cut right there. Again, you could do this ahead of time. I mean, you could tie it first and then cut. Now, I'm going to use my ink pad to uh, tie the knot. Uh, you could use a washer. You could use a lid. You could use a bottle. You could use anything, but I'm going to use this. So I'm going to grab the ends. And then I'm going to put it around the ink thing um, so it's kind of centered and then I'm going to hold this and I'm gonna make a knot oh well, yeah I'm tight and you could use you could actually use washi to hold it down or not it's up to you um, then you're gonna tie a knot and you're gonna do like if you're tying your shoelaces so this part I mean, you could do it bigger and then pull them smaller, but this part is to make the ears of the reindeer. Now, see right here, the ears are quite quite big. Um, if you want to make them smaller, you just pull like that. And then you just, right here, I'm going to do this so I can take this off. There we go. Okay. And there we have our little reindeer face. Now. Um, you could do a circle and then glue it or you could actually put glue on the twine That is what I thought worked better. So I don't have a lot of glue marks when I did my mom's I actually Went around it and had to like make sure that it kind of centered around so I kind of did this and then Said you know what it's gonna be this big and yeah, but um, What I you could do is just add glue To the back part of the twine or one side of the twine and you don't have to add a lot. Um, you could you could start adding um, glue later after you glue part, most of it down. So I only do the head. I'm gonna put it there. And see, it, there's glue everywhere. So I should have been more careful. But you could just try to wipe it off as much as you can. You could also use a hot glue gun. I know that there's like those precise precision. Um, glue guns so it's closer I mean it's finer you could do that right here um, I want to make sure that the antlers are going to be above the ears so when I glue this I want to make sure this goes on top now right here I think my antlers are too small but I'm going to make it work so I'm just going to do a curve right there and I hope it works. <laughs> I hope it looks okay. And I'm gonna do that. And if you need to add more glue, just add more glue. And this is kind of messy. Um, my fingers were already sticky, so not that cool. So I am going to put some kind of weight. So you could put this ink stamp, you could put your glue stick, your glue, whatever. Now I'm going to try and match this one and see how it's moving around. I should have put something heavy on it on that too to keep the shape you want so I'm gonna put this right there now I'm gonna pick this up so I can see what it looks like so I know it's it went up it went down and then it went up again and it is not perfect it's okay now if you want it to be a bit more perfect um, you could actually draw it and then put glue and then glue it twine on top of it which 
will work because twine will cover the pencil mark so you don't have to worry about that okay now I recommend you let it dry before you move on especially if you're gonna drop stuff uh, on it but you don't have to now I mean you should <laughs> now um, for where's my where's my sample one hey where'd it go it's hiding okay for this one um, I am going to use a red button because we want to make it look like Rudolph and you could use different sizes so let me show you I have a big one but I don't like the see-through one I want like a solid solid red so it could be really big or it could be a bit smaller like that which I, I'm gonna go with the well let's see mm. I'm going to go with this one I like I like the outline, but I wish I had a red one bigger than this, but smaller than that. So, oh, I think I found one. Okay, there we go. And that will work. Now, if you have a glue dot, that works good, but I'm just going to stick with the glue because my goal is to use the least amount of items, adhesives, and all that stuff. Okay, so we're going to put the glue. Now right here you decide if you want like the butt, the, the little holes to look like a diamond or like a square. So whichever way you want to put those holes, that way it kind of looks, I don't know. Okay, now I'm going to do another thing. Um, I want to put the ornaments, but I want to put the ornaments on this paper. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to cut this. So where am I supposed to There we go. I'm going to cut leaving a small white border and again if you let it dry this will work better see like right here the ear's not stuck come on ear stay and I think I needed to add more glue there because I didn't add much glue there there we go okay you can hold it down now with your fingers put something heavy because your fingers are gonna get stuck to the twine okay so this is a bit harder if you have bigger scissors, but if you have smaller scissors, it's easier to cut around it. Um, I'm kind of going fast for the tutorial, but uh, you guys could take your time and make it neater. Okay, so now we have this. Now, I kind of want to do the antlers more like the ones they have multiple sections which you know what let's do it if we're gonna go all out we're gonna go all out so I'm going to cut a piece of twine again and I should hurry because this car is supposed to take me less than 20 minutes but it might but I think it's because I keep talking and because I'm just planning it instead of just um, sticking to the original design so we're gonna do this we're gonna put glue right there and then glue right there and then we're going to glue that and if you want to curve it and make them long that's fine there we go um you decide what you want to do see my fingers get stuck so what you do is hold it there and then we're going to do this one glue it there and then roll it a little bit hold it up of course I told you don't use your finger to hold it down <laughs> um, hold it down and then put some kind of weight there so you decide how much you want to put uh, this one's not curved enough that one's too curved okay okay now if you want to add like a little one right here that's fine which I shouldn't but I am and the antlers are not perfect so if they're not symmetrical doesn't matter no but if it mat if you if that's an issue just make them symmetrical uh, and also you could actually print out an outline of what you want the antlers to look like and then right here looks like it's together let's let me cut this off a little bit um, print it out and then just put glue on top of it and if the twine is fat enough th or thick enough then you get to 
um, hide, hide the ink. Okay. Again, let it dry. But I'm impatient, so I'm just gonna cut. Okay. Oh, this kind of looks cool. Now, it might have been better to do it like on way thicker cardstock. Or again, <laughs> let it dry. There we go. There we go. Make sure I cut this not too pointy. And again, with it with twine and glue, you can make any shape. Sketch it out first, or cut it out and then make like an outline of it. You decide. And again, this is like all the other projects. They don't have to stick to the holiday theme. You could do it for any other holiday or occasion. So look at that. That looks kind of cool. Now, I don't like how I cut the... Let me put this in the trash. I don't like how I cut most of it because I rushed. So it's not going to look as perfect as I want it to be. But I don't think you want me to take an hour trying to make it perfect. You guys take you guys take your time to make yours perfect. Okay, if you are gonna make one of these, because come on, they're so fun. I mean, maybe not easy, but they're fun. Um, make sure you tag me on Instagram with my username Looney and I would love to see that. So I should stop cutting. I should just do it. But it's not perfect. See, guys, we want it to be perfect. Okay, let's just do this antler right here and then stop, All right? Okay, there we go. I'll stop, I'll stop. Okay, now we're going to glue it right there. Oh, that's going to be fun. I know I can't stop. I don't, I don't want it pointy, but I don't want it square, so I'm going to make it round. Yep, round. You decide how you want to. I think round looks perfect. It kind it kind of um helps it look more finished. But it's hard because I already cut so much and because it's wet because of the glue, it doesn't cut as easily. Okay. Now let's glue it. So you could actually see I need to let it dry. You could actually use um any adhesive. Again, the hot glue gun too, but I'm going to use what I said I was going to use. Okay, now I'm sure this glue is going to like come out of the bot uh, out of <laughs> the bottom of the paper. See, it's spreading outside. Okay, so there we go. Now we want a. Hey, you could even leave this without ornaments, but wasn't the idea of this video to use but buttons? Hey, it might be button and twine. Okay, so you decide how you want to make your eyes. I'm gonna make them round, and then this one's gonna be looking straight up, a uh, straight forward. Um, and then maybe add like little eyelashes, and then eyebrows. <laughs> okay, so now we have that. Now I want to put ornaments. So on this part. It's a fun part. You decide what size, what color, and I'm going to stick with, um, see the red one? It's not bright enough because of that. I might stick with the, some of the primary colors. Um, well, the red's the primary color, but uh, let's put this one and I'll put the blue one there, maybe the yellow one there. I don't know. I'll do this. And then I probably will. You know what? Let's do some pink. A tiny pink one. There we go. And maybe an orange one. A bigger orange one. Or maybe a smaller orange one. Let's see. Yeah. That way, because the red, there's already a red nose, so we don't need to add too much. Okay. Now, you decide where you want them, and then you're going to make lines. So, right here. I'm just going to make a line 
you decide if you want to make it from the black from the white paper and then I kind of make this right here it doesn't have to be perfect and you because that's gonna go on the so your ornament is gonna go on top um, I just like this part because then if I uh, put it down lower than the string then it looks like the top of the ornament so right here we're gonna do this one right here Mm -hmm. And then that one, a little bit further. And if you want to make it perfect, don't do what I'm doing and be messy. Okay, now we're going to glue them down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Okay. There we go. And I, don't, I hope you can't hear the TV, but I'm watching New Girl. What, I just had TV in the background. And you could, again, <laughs> I'm going to repeat this. You could use different adhesive. And right here, hot glue gun would have been fast and um, maybe easier. But use what you have. Don't spend money on other things. Oh my goodness. Oops, I dropped the glue. It's so cute. Now... Go get your base. I am going to actually distress the edges of this paper. Well, not distress, like put the bronze. Put it. Can you see the bronze there? Nope, we're going to use black. Now, if you have like distress ink and those little blenders, that might work better. But we're just using what we have. And I know I have those. I just don't want to go take it out. And everybody has black, well, not everybody, but like everybody that likes crafts and stuff should have a blank ink. That's the one that like, we want to buy first because it's very, oops, you could use it for so many things. You can't see it. I wanted to distress it a little bit more, but I don't want to make it too dark. Uh, we'll leave it there. Now, make sure it's dry before you put it on the white paper because it's going to you want the white paper to be kind of neat and clear there we go my fingers are not clear okay now I want to put adhesive on the back of this but the buttons are not done yet so what I'm going to do is try my best to put the adhesive within a quarter of an inch from the edge or within I think it's an eight of an inch, so we'll see. Now we're gonna try and center it. Oops, or not. Ah, oh, come on, that he said. Let me center it first. Okay, there we go. Pretty close. Now, I feel like this button's gonna fall out because I kept moving it. So, let's find the glue. Come on, glue. There we go. And we're going to add more just to make sure. There we go. And look at that. Isn't that adorable? It's so cute. Now, you could add um, sticker or something to finish it off. I don't want to waste your time. But I want to finish it. Okay. Oops. Now, my table is in my living room because I have a little tiny desk that I use. And everything's all over the place. But I'll find something. Okay. So, I found these. Um, the ones. Well, I can't find my other one. I can never find anything. But these are the stickers from... Target, I think. So I could use one of these. Uh, or not. They might not fit. Let's use this one up here. First, my fingers need to be clean. <laughs> so uh, this one um, is not perfectly cut. I think it, the stickers were not cut straight on this part. That is the top part. So I'm going to cut. Oh, it, does, it was cut right. It had the brown part, but 
it's not gonna fit there to get rid of that brown part the brown part look cool though but it can't fit you know what we're gonna have to divide them into two sections and I hope it divides fine hmm no. You know what? We're going to make it work right here. There we go. And now we're done. After like half an hour of work. No. But look. Isn't that cute? Oh yes. I like this. Um, I don't know. It's, it's pretty. So there's some examples. And there's some other examples. Please, please tag me if you do any of these exam uh, these like buttons and twine um, cards or tags or any kind of design using twine and buttons because it's so cute. I want to see what you guys create. Um, give me some more ideas to create some more cards so I could hand them out. Okay, guys, uh, enough of me talking. I'm sorry I didn't edit this video because I'm just going to post it like that because I think it's cool to see all the process. Um... I'm sure that if you didn't want to process, you could forward to the end, to like right now, and see the ending. So either way, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.